Hi, uh, my name is Jiten. Uh, welcome to Net UCC TV. Quick uh, look at uh, uh, the DSKAD606 video and audio distributor. Um, that's the video intercom uh, video distributor that uh, all the video intercom devices uh, connect to. That's a new high vision um, video intercom system. Uh, so here we have a DSKAD606. This is an eight channel, eight port distributor. But please note that only six devices can connect uh, up, to the, up to the distributor itself. Um, the other two ports, one are for your LAN port and one is for uh, connecting a second distributor. Uh, that's the information sheet uh, there and some typical applications. You can actually download these sheets from our website, netviewcctv.co.uk. Uh, that uh, gives you an example of uh, what can be connected. Some specifications, there's a 10100 Mbps interface. Uh, on this particular model, it has uh, six uh, uh, ports for connecting devices and two extra ports for connecting another distributor uh, and to your LAN. Uh, there you go, so that's uh, the specification sheet. So this is the actual distributor itself. Uh, basically, uh, what it is, it's basically a switch, basically a network switch to connect uh, devices such as uh, your intercom uh, internal uh, device uh, to it, uh, to together. So what do you get inside? Right, so you get, the, basically, there's only two things really inside, uh, your distribution itself and a little cable. Um, this one you'll not really uh, tend to need unless you connect another distributor to this one so there we go well protected well packed and that's really all you get in the box so let's just put the box aside a second have a quick look at the distributor itself uh, there you go metal case um, let's see how long would I say it is roughly nice, uh, 10, 9 inches and all that, 9 inch by about 4 inches. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, it can be wall mounted as well. Uh, you've got your wall mount screws there and there. And also on the back, you've got your power cord. Uh, note that there is no mains power uh, uh, lead uh, included so you have to get your own uh, kettle lead uh, just like the kettle lead uh, to actually power uh, the device itself but there wasn't one uh, in the boxes that we received so I'm presuming they don't uh, include them uh, right on the front a brief explanation of which each port is there are the ports there the eight ports and it's telling me port one that's a power status light at the top uh, LAN 1, LAN 2, so your top two are your LAN ports so these two are your LAN ports you cannot connect uh, devices, uh, video intercom devices to these two ports it won't power them um, and it, uh, they won't work so you got your six then, you got your six uh, device ports there one, two, three, four, five, six for six devices, any six devices must be video intercom devices you cannot connect IP cameras uh, to this device, it won't power IP cameras up, it will only power the video intercom devices up. Uh, so this cable, basically what you get with it, this is to connect, uh, for example, another distributor from here to another distributor as well to give you another extra six ports. Uh, uh, also on a 16-channel version, uh, you get two of these uh, um, uh, bays really they're both independent, so you have to actually connect them both together to use both of them together. Uh, so that's uh, another uh, use for that cable there. Um, and that's really basically it. Let's see what it says on the front. Connection and notice. Directly connect the interface LAN 1 to the interface LAN 2. That's if you want to use both uh, uh, the interfaces. This is only the 8-channel uh, version, so this hasn't got the second interface bay there. It's only got the 8 ports there. Uh, so really you don't need to use this. Um, connect the interface LAN 1 and LAN 2 to a distributor with a, a network cable. 
Yeah, it's a bit confusing. Only the hit with an intercom device supporting power over a network cable can be connected to the device interface. So only video intercom devices, POE video intercom devices can be connected to this, uh, not IP cameras. Um, although uh, if I uh, let you into a little secret, uh, you can actually connect a IP camera to the port, which we tested, but it won't power it. You have to power it separately with a, a 12 volt power supply. If you connect the tower power supply to an IP camera on this, you can connect it and see the camera on your network. Uh, remember, your network cable has to connect to LAN 1 or LAN 2 to your router or your switch. Connect any, any one of these two uh, for your network access to any of the devices that are connected uh, onto any of the, uh, the ports there. Um, you cannot connect, as so devices, interfaces cannot be interconnected, you cannot connect uh, these any of these ports uh, want to each other so it must be they are totally independent and you cannot connect one and you also cannot connect another distributor to any of these ports uh, as well if it's sending power into these ports not out yeah. um, do not connect any interface device to a distributor yeah. so uh, and that's really it and that's your video distributor uh, watch my other uh, videos I'm going to make on the rest of the video intercom range uh, and they'll be available shortly. Uh, this is one of the Wi-Fi, uh, this is the Wi-Fi tablet uh, uh, intercom uh, device in indoor station. So I'll be reviewing that as well uh, uh, in a moment. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you found that useful and uh, don't forget to, to watch uh, my other videos. Thanks. Bye.